Hey guys, MPET2. I'm trying to be quiet because I'm trying to fish. I found this honey hole that I've been going to for trout fishing. And all season long, there have been these big bastard trout that I can't catch. You look down underneath that fallen branch, there's probably about five or six or eight of them. I don't know if you can see them in this video, but they're in a bad location because I can't cast on the other side of that. And every now and again, they'll come out in the open. And, you know, I've tried everything. I've tried artificial, I've tried power bait, lures. I'm down to like a number, I guess a size 10 hook. And I'm using night crawlers. And uh, with no swivel or anything. And they still don't seem to be biting on that. The sunny seem to love it though. I don't know if you can see them under there. There's, there's dark spots. They're massive. They're probably 18 inches long. Probably like 4 or 5 pound trout. But I uh, took a day off from work. And I uh, decided to come out of here for a couple hours fishing. And uh, it's a nice uh, area. This is called the Perkyoman Creek. And uh, it's this nice little spot because it's down off of uh, something called the Perkyoman Trail. But to get to here, you have to uh, trek through the woods for a little while. And a lot of people don't like doing that. It's And it's a really small path. You, you can't even tell hardly that the path is coming off of the, uh, the trail. It's probably about, I don't know, 200 yards walking through the, uh, through the woods. And I don't know if you can see them. I can, I can see them here. They're moving now. I hope you can see them. One's coming right towards me. I think it looks like it's, it's, it's probably got to be a five or six pound trout. It's right there. There's two of them. But I'm going to see if I can catch some. If I do, I'll do a little recording. I doubt I'm going to be able to, but I'm also going to try to start snagging them. Alright, later.